can see BBS. I'm just gonna work on this now. Yeah. See when you are modeling or when you're sculpting with uh, ZBrush, right? You will, you may want to look at. Uh, say the materials okay so the materials now uh, this is by default this is ZBrush default right so sometimes this red clayish red right it may not be that you know um, the best selection for you but it depends it solely depends on the preference I would not say this is um, this is wrong or use a specific material then work on it and so on and so forth i leave it to you but normally what i would do is i'll go for you know matte cap so i don't have this you know specularity the shininess at times and sometimes it just goes like ah oh, why is it like this and so on and so forth <laughs> yeah you will feel like you know you may not get the feel that you want uh, if I can put it in in proper, yeah. So these are things that you have to explore on the material. So material is practically your. If I work for this on white, so I can see much more clear. I I think I prefer that. Or if you want to change any of these matte colors, matte means there's no shininess. You all know what is matte, right? Yeah. Okay. So matte means it is not so shiny and so on. So with that, it's a lot more easier for me, for me personally. Yeah. So your preferences. Try not to go for something super glossy. Super glossy is very hard. Like for instance, if I go here and I go for gold, then you're gonna like, ah, what is it? Unless if you're working on a gold, gold, uh, engraved. And a sculpt and so on and so forth, then fine, right? Even still, try to go for that. Yeah, all right. Next, we all know that this would work. How it works is you have to break it apart, so which means, like how we did last week, we started off with a sphere. We added another sphere or we copied another duplicated another sphere and then we did the base first um, landmark and then eventually extrude the components that is needed to be extruded to form this head right so sometimes it's a bit weird because uh, you may not see the ears and you feel like ah oh, what is this it is not coming or it's not gelling together so if you want that to happen so something uh, I would strongly advise is you insert the insert an object, okay, any 3D object or whatever, not, right? So it's a lot more easier. Cubes are fine, but sometimes it's it's just too, I would say, um, I don't know. I prefer sphere. Up to you. You can use cubes. It totally depends on what you really want to do. Anyways, I've already insert. You know how to insert already, right? Yes, no? Under sub tools, insert. You will insert. You see this? Insert. When you press insert, you will have this uh, no options of you know, 3D meshes given to you. Okay? You can use this uh, sphere 3D. Right? And once you bring it in, move it to the desired location. After you have already moved it to the desired location, then first, before you even sculpt, please make sure that you adjust the shape and size accordingly. So, especially for years, you can do a separate version, separate from a separate uh, mesh, and then combine it to the head, and even the entire body part. It depends right so for now let's go it uh, go in in that you know on destructive manner yeah okay 
Hello? Uh, wait. Yeah. So far, can I? Yeah. Okay, the rest, okay? Just create, okay. insert, insert the sphere, drag it here, right? Just squash it. You, can, you all know how to squash it, right? Use this scale, just squash it. Use this, uh, move, scale, rotate the gizmo. Draw means you're sculpting. These are the move, meaning your overall you're squashing the meshes. Okay? Can I? Oh, very quiet. Right, so rotate to the desired position drag it over okay maybe you wanna do adjust it accordingly maybe around here right remember the years will come around this area the jawline will come in between like that right because you have this tendon that later on you will join from the jawline here to the collarbone. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to show a couple of it, and then I will I will stop. You guys try, okay? And then we will start again, and then you guys try, and it goes on like that. Okay. Don't want to have it like you know five hours to do. That's exhausting to watch. Okay, shall I move on? Yep. Okay. Okay. So before normally before I do anything, right, I'll use this you know control shift, right. This is for the clip clippings, clip curve. So it's easier for me. I just want to shape things. I'll just cut like knife tool in. Uh, uh, what they call illustrator right you just get the rough shape now, right so if i don't see if i see this overlapping it's okay because later when we do dynamesh this two will then just join okay so for timing just leave it as such right i'm going to use uh, to cut it i use clip clip curve which means i'm good i'm using control and shift huh? then i use the move tool Right, press S for draw size. You can make it as big as you want and drag it. See how this drag. Right. So, here we are not doing like super realistic uh, years yet. Okay. Just gonna have fun a little bit. Now I'm gonna smoothen things a little bit. Drag something like that. To begin. Can? Yeah. Right. So once you have already come up to this stage, and this is where you start sculpting, so go for B. I'll use a lot of uh, clay built up. This is more so for my landmarks and so on and so forth. All right? This is where I go like, oh, okay, you come up here, or maybe I'll use. Before you do anything, go to your brush for years, especially, or any thin areas. Remember, last week I've already mentioned this as well. All right? Go to brush, go to auto mask under brush tab, go to for auto masking and then back face mask to be on anything that is thin so that you don't have it pushed or scout at the back it's only on the surface that you're on only you know what I mean I'm sorry again sorry under brush you go to auto masking remember this last week I've already shown this 
under under uh, auto masking under brush here okay look for auto masking and make sure you on back face mask this will prevent you from sculpting the back or especially any thin areas right so if you want to sculpt around here it will affect the back as well because it's too thin right the density of the uh, surface or the density the mass between the you know distance is too close or it's not enough that it pulls or it sculpts together or affects the surfaces behind it okay Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, before I do anything, I'll go for my mask tool. Hold Control. I'll just do a simple one. Something like that. Okay. I'm just landmarking. Right. Maybe if you wanna have, if you wanna erase, erase like certain areas. Right. Just make a simple C. Right and you hit control outside so you have only this area selected and you go for um, deformation right if you want to okay. these are all options eh? deformation meaning it's deforming the entire there's a lot of options here you'll be using it deforms the entire mesh that you have selected or the selection area right so like this I can have like it's inflating or you know, pushing it inwards so which means this is inflating inwards or extruding inwards okay so you can adjust the mesh a little bit here and there you can also rotate this accordingly you can offset this if you want to okay you can relax it and so on so forth polish along the way you'll pick, pick this up okay can I or you can just do this mask selection you can just drag and drop up to you whichever that comes easy so I will um, gradually introduce certain components like you know um, deformation is here this is what it does after you explore a little bit okay because we, we're going to cover too much and it becomes just the brush uh, you know master class you know what I mean we are looking for we are learning anatomy which means we are learning more than this cartoon anatomy anatomy or the software by itself all right so once you have done this I assume any questions before I continue Yes, guys. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. Quiet means I assume everyone understands, huh? So, anyways, I'm gonna go simple. All right. Just cut. Just now, I just put a landmark. All right. Uh, and that's about it. If you wanna have more details later but for now because we are looking at uh, stylized characters and so on and so forth just do a landmark as such okay. you can push it in a little bit with some volumes and depth okay up to you I always do this this is fine then you go for your pinch brush Alright, alternate, pinch it. You can pinch certain areas up to you, how you want to do it. Yeah, and then smoothen. Give it a little crease. Alright. As long as it kind of like represents the years ok so it's there approximately if you want you can do that 
I'll just leave it for now. Say you like this, you're happy with this. Now what you can do is you can mirror as well. You go to geometry, go to modify topology, mirror and well done. Okay. Clear? Wait, what brush were you using? Huh? For the pinch, uh, pinch brush something. Pinch, pinch. B, pinch. P. Look for P. B, P. See, you got pinch. Oh, um, okay. Alright. So the one that I'm having here, this is the extra plugin. Like, if you, if you want this, you can just go to. I will share the link on Discord, and you can just, you know, go there, uh, go there and download it. It's for free. Yeah. Okay. So pinching is practically this is what you're doing. You're pinching. You're pulling the mesh together. You know how you pinch? If you pinch your, your skin, right, or your hand, or any of your fatty areas and so on and so forth, your, your organs or whatever not, right? As you pinch any surface of your skin and so on and so forth, you are pulling, right? You are pulling the meshes surrounding it and then you are kind of like concentrating or kind of pinching it to one specific, you know, uh, shape that you are intending to Feed. All right. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you, you have to <laughs> quickly say answer, please. All right. So it's easier. So with pinching, right? Uh, that's what it does. Damn. And uh, pinching will also give you one is with pinching brush. So I'm gonna go for pinching brush, right? You can either cut inwards or it will pinch and give you this kind of, you know, holes or clarities around that, that lines. But as you can see here, it will pull the surfaces from right and left and so on and so forth to form this particular crease or cut. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Then, if you want to have it more sharper, so which means you want to have this kind of nice sharp edges, how do you do that? Is by alternate, which means you do your opposite. Okay, do that. You're pinching it to form this shape like that. Sharpness, like how we do it with the main standard. Got it? Yeah. Right, cool. So with that now, you can try and see. Okay. And you'll get a head. Okay. So remember, just now what we did is we mirror and well. You all know this already, right? Mirror and well, so which means you do on your, make sure it is on your left hand side because it will, by default, it will just mirror from here left to right. Okay? Okay. Right. Left hand side. So now, if you want to scale it down, okay, you may have an issue. Because this guy is going to go like, ah, what, what's happening? It's also going to scale the other side of it. So what you can do is, you can just hide this dude, or you just do a mask. Okay? Probably just want to hide it. So control, control shift, you can go here and uh, make it normal selection. So you can hide. Okay, 
say you're gonna just hide that part okay the right hand side and you're just gonna delete hidden so now this is only one even if you just click once okay, nothing appears right so you have deleted say if you want to do it or make it small all you have to do is you know work on one side okay and then mirror web make sense yeah okay all right so that's that for mirroring so the same technique that we now can use to work on forming the other components of the body make sense So the ears can be this small, ears can be uh, you know, slightly bigger, it's up to you. But these are the techniques, this is for demo purpose. Right? So as Silent says that you have understood. Okay, next is you are going to go for adding more components. So how do you select, how do you select the sub-tools? without going here and clicking on the layers Hello. how do you do that? What? how do you select the other object that is you know, in a different layer of the sub tool without going here in the viewport by itself. How do you do that? How do you switch? I want to work on this. Now I'm working on the ears. Now I want to work on the head. How do you do that? Because these two are separate. Control click. Nope. Alternate. Okay. Huh? Alternate. Alt, Alt, A, L, T. Alt. Oh. Yeah. By holding Alt, just click on it, click on any of the objects, so it will swap, swap, swap. Cool. Yep. Guys, this is all basic stuff, huh? We've got a long way to go. Please practice. So how do you mirror again? Go to geometry, modify topology. Mirror and well. Okay? Yeah. Do it on the left. Make sure it is on the left. Huh? Anything that they are adjusting is on the left. So it will mirror directly. Okay? Yeah. Right. Can I move on? You all want to try first? Yeah. Yeah, in. I'll try first. Okay, cool. So you try first. I will stop the recording for now. Then we'll come back. We will continue with a few stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right.